Well, here's to hoping that we won't feel the effects of load shedding today because today marks a very significant day on the South African calendar with the opening of Parliament and the highly anticipated State of the Nation Address by President Zuma. Now, the State of the Nation Address is, of course, a crucial time for us to get our bearings and take a pulse of the country. And with us in studio to discuss the SONA 2015 is our Deputy Minister of Communications, Stella Ndabeni Abrams. And so good to have you here with us this morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Katleho. How are you? I'm very, very well. And you're looking fantastic. That was my first comment to you this morning. But let's talk about what's going to be happening uh, tonight. Of course, like we said, SONA 2015. And you as the Department of Communications have rolled out a campaign that's going to be involving the public out there on the social media spheres, Twitter and Facebook. Tell me more about that. You must remember that every time the president is going to deliver the address to the nation, mm. he makes it a point that he consults with the citizens of the country. And therefore, it was in that spirit that we made it a point that we not only consult through the radios or physical engagements. Mm -hmm. Young people and most people of this country are on social network media. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we said, okay, let's have a platform on Twitter and Facebook yeah. because we just want everybody to give it an opinion or raise a concern of the issues that they think it's important for the president to raise. Mm -hmm. Therefore, all those inputs were roped in, and then the president is looking into it as he's going to be delivering his State of the Nation this evening. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, we're talking big numbers here, where on Twitter, some 27,871 people uh, received more than 2,000 comments. Right, from, from yes, and we appreciate media. that because it simply tells South Africa is beginning to engage with government. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're not a government that wants to impose things to people. Mm -hmm. We are saying, South Africans, it's your, it is your high time to govern. If the people are to govern, mm -hmm. then it means let your voice be heard. Yeah. And that's an opportunity that we are providing to everybody in this yeah. country. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people might want to have their voices heard on the issue of load shedding, as it is top of mind right now. How high up on the agenda do you think that will be for the president today? As you all know that the president addresses all those crucial issues that are important for the nation. Mm -hmm. One of those things will be load shedding, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely he will have to talk about it. Because mm -hmm. I know he's concerned about everything else. Because we know that as we talk of all the other things that have been raised by those that were on Twitter, Facebook and everywhere else, yeah. they made mention of those issues that are affecting them with regards to the load shedding as we're making mention of and uh, low unemployment rate, I mean high unemployment rates. Yes. And those two, they go together. Yeah. And I think that's something that a lot of the youth might want to hear as well because, I mean, we have a whole new class of matriculants that have now entered into the job market. So what do you think it is that the youth might want to hear from the president today regarding that? We got lots of inputs. For example, the unemployment rate that I spoke about, education concerns, ac actually access to education, because others, although they've already matriculated, they don't have access to tertiary. Yes. Those that are there, they're still experiencing certain challenges. Then mm -hmm. they want to know, how is government going to respond to that? Yes. Amongst, uh, amongst that, there's the issue of the rural development. Others are saying, we're staying in our little villages. We don't have access to this broadband that you're talking about. We also want to be part of the world and part of South Africa. Yeah. Therefore, Mr. President, what is it that you're going to talk about? Yeah. Definitely, as I have mentioned earlier, the president, every time he delivers his speech, yes. he takes those into consideration and therefore as he will be giving a message that will move South Africa forward, mm -hmm. ours is to come and make it a point that we listen to him yeah. and we do everything to invite others, whether it's through radio or we follow him on Twitter mm -hmm. or we watch on TV. Yeah, And there's one more avenue that uh, the public out there can now use to get closer to government and closer to the presidency through the government mobile app, right? Tell me more about that. Yes, as you all know, I'm sure you've heard of one of the singers, Zaitola Ganja and Mount Lelekone. We decided to say Suzoi Kwe Kwe La, simply because we want to get closer to the people. Mm -hmm. Then we said it is high time. I made mention that others are saying due to lack of broadband uh, access. Yes. Therefore, they don't have access to this information on internet and all that. Uh -huh. Then we said let's come up with another alternative because there's lots of alternatives that we use to communicate. Yes. Then we said let's come up with a free one. Then we asked a group of young people to develop this app mm -hmm. and then you can access it for as long as on Android or you have an Apple or Google Play phone. Mm -hmm. It's free of charge. Okay. Government delivers information to you because ours is to make it a point that we build an information society but we're doing that through the digital economy of course. Yeah. And I mean looking at, at, at the way you're looking this morning I'm thinking also that it's also about the glitz and glamour on the red carpet. It's not music. just about the no, glitz no, no, and glamour. It's also about it. Are, are you, are you going to be dressing up fabulously for tonight? Definitely. I can't disappoint you. I'm 
representing lots of young people and the young adults, you know. I'm no longer that young. Well, all right, all right. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Deputy Minister. Thank you, Katlecha. There you have it. So don't miss the State of the Nation address at 7 p.m. tonight on SABC2. And also to stay in touch with the presidency on social media platforms. Uh, it's on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash presidency ZA. On Twitter, it's at presidency ZA. And also remember to download the South Africa or the Free South African Government mobile app uh, on your Apple Store, also on the Google Play Store. Search for SA Government. Or well, stay tuned to your feel-good breakfast show. There's lots more to come.